Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys, Viper here, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Today, I've got a different style of video for you guys. We're gonna be reviewing both of the showdown cards together in the same team in a game of champs. So obviously we did get Serdar and we got Haraguchi. Now they're quite expensive to be fair. Uh, I was kind of surprised at how expensive they were. But the kind of thing that's kind of making them a bit cheaper is the fact that you don't need Team of the Weeks in either of the SBCs. It's going to cost you an 83 rated squad. Sorry, not even an 83. An 82 rated squad, an 84 rated squad and an 85 rated squad. They've got quite high chemistry requirements which might bring up the price just a little bit as you're going to have to go and buy fodder, which I do think is still quite expensive right now. Um, you know, you're, you're like, uh, your 87s and 88s are like 25k and like 35k respectively, which is very expensive. But these cards do look really good. So first of all, the first one we're going to be looking at here right now is Haraguchi. Now, he's got 92 pace with 90 dribbling, 86 shooting and 88 passing. He's four star, four star, right footed, with high, high work rates, and he is five foot ten. I feel like I might have already gone over that, but, you know, what's harm in doing it twice? Um, in terms of traits, he's got no traits. I did have a little look at the in-games, and I like his curve. Even though he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, he has really high curve, which is going to be good for us. He's got 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 82 attack positioning, 88 finishing, and 82 shot power. Really good long shots at 93. Poor volleys and penalties, but once again, you know, we don't really care about that. 92 vision with 83 crossing. Great short pass at 93 with good long pass at 80. Not the best. We'll probably try and improve that of a chemistry style. 91 curve as I've already gone over. 95 agility with 94 balance. 86 reactions, 90 ball control, 90 dribbling and 84 composure. In terms of his defensive stats, they're not even that bad either. It seems EA are really giving the kind of cam players higher defending now, which is interesting. And he's not got the worst defender in the world. Now, obviously, it's Union Berlin. I do believe Herfer Berlin haven't been playing too well this year. Um, so there's a decent chance of a draw or maybe even a Union Berlin win, you know. Um, but once again, his defending is okay. And then when you actually look at his physicals, whilst they are quite poor in the strength and aggression category, he's got really good stamina at 97 and good jumping at 85. But his head and accuracy is kind of poor, so it's kind of deemed useless, you know. I think this card looks really good. Imagine him with how low his strength is. His height is a bit much for what I was expecting. He's probably going to have a very small body type in game. And he should be able to dribble really cleanly if he's got that low strength. In terms of chemistry style, I really do think you need someone that does up his shot power. Because his shot power is really, really low. Um, and with that in mind, I think you're looking at something like... A Maestro wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, I think a Hawk would be okay. But then it's kind of pointless because you're not doing anything on the physical... I'd probably go with, on this card, either a Hunter or a Finisher. Or, no, sorry, a Deadeye, actually. And that's probably what I am going to go with, a Deadeye. Now, what this will do for him, you get that massive boost to shot power. So, plus 15 to shot power there. Plus 10 to finishing and plus 10 to attack positioning. Really, really nice upgrade there. He's almost maxed out on long shots there, too. So, 92 attack positioning, 98 finishing, 97 shot power and 98 long shots. 99 vision with 99 short pass and 96 curve. Obviously, it doesn't boost long pass, but what it does is really boost up his shooting stats and get that big boost to the shot power, which is really important. This card looks brilliant with this on. I'm excited to go and get some games and play with him. But obviously, in this video, we're also going to be reviewing Serdar at the same time. And this card looks really good as a box-to-box -box as well. Now, he's got high medium work rates. He's six foot, three star, three star, and he's right footed. Now, one thing for me, on midfielders, I really like them to have a four-star weak foot so you can kind of ping the ball with both feet. He doesn't have that, but he kind of does make up for it by the looks of it on his stats. 83 pace, 88 dribbling, 82 shooting, 87 defending, 84 passing, and 91 physical, which is really nice. His traits are really good. Well, one of them is really good. I wasn't expecting him to have this, but he does have the finesse shot trait. So you can play him as a box-to-box. -box. You can, can play him as a CDM. He's got a really interesting card as his dribbling is quite high the kind of card that he is, and he's got really good defending and physical. So he looks like more of a CDM to me, I'm just looking at his base card stats, but let's actually have a look at his in-games to see if he can go forward as well. So 
So 83 on the pace, uh, split on acceleration and sprint speed. 82 attack position with 81 finishing, 89 shot power with 89 long shots. Really good there, to be fair to him. He's got 88 vision with 89 short pass and 86 long pass. Kerber's at 92, but it's already boosted to 99. 80 agility with 78 balance. 88 reactions, 90 ball control, 91 dribbling, low composure at 80. Defending stats look insane as well. Defending is at 87 overall, but he's got 89 interceptions. He's got 82 heading accuracy, 85 defensive awareness, 88 stand tackle, and 86 slide tackle. His physical is where it gets really interesting, though. He's insanely good in the air with 97 jumping, really good stamina at 92, 88 strength with 98 aggression. You really don't need to touch his physicals, which is nice. Um, the agility and balance is a bit low, so I am somewhat inclined to put an engine on him. Now, I don't know if I have an engine in the club. The other one that I did think of straight away was obviously a uh, shadow. I only have one shadow as well. I do think you could argue a shadow. If you're going to play him as a CDM, I would say a shadow. If you're going to play him as a box-to-box, -box, which I'm going to, I would say the engine is probably the best chem style. Get that passing up a little bit. Um, get that dribbling up a little bit. More specifically, the agility and balance, which needs a big boost, in my personal opinion. So we've bought an engine. We're going to apply that to him. We're going to see what that does to him. And then we're going to get in some gameplay with him, okay? Now, I know it's a bit different, this one. But these cards are not the most desirable. So I'd rather cover them both in one video. Kind of like a versus, almost, you know? Um, but... This card, these cards do look okay for a Bundesliga team. Um, not the best, in my opinion, but they look okay still. Now, now we've got the engine applied. We're getting a plus five to pace, taking them up to 88 pace. 93 vision, 94 short pass with 91 long pass. His agility goes up to 85 and his balance up to 88. Really good boost there. And he's also got 99 dribbling. This card looks incredible, if I'm being honest. It's just hard to link these Bundesliga cards because I don't think the Bundesliga is too desirable this year. Obviously, as you can see, we've linked him to our Jude Bellingham, the Marlon, and the Caliguri. And we've got some cool cards in here, you know. Um, I just don't think the Bundesliga has too many meta players this year. But we're going to get into some games and see how we get on with these cards. All right, guys. Into the game we go. Oh, my God. What a team that is. Puskas, Garincha, Hullet, Allen, Eusebio, Maldini, Atal. He's got Nuno Mens. He's got Varane's flashback as well. Pretty bog standard team, really. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. I'm going to keep you here for 45 minutes. And I'm just going to get highlights for the rest of this game. If not, this video is going to get stupidly long. We don't want that. We should be able to make our opinions pretty quickly on these cards, you know. Um, and this guy's got a sick team, so it should be a good game to watch, really. Obviously, we've got Harvey Barnes in here, too. From yesterday. I really like that card. He's playing a bit strange early on. Oh, that's unlucky. I thought Haraguchi was getting to that. Or Haraguchi, I should say. What's this dude doing, man? Oh, that's a good sprint boost. Whoa, okay. This game is so tragic. What have I just seen on my screen? All right, first touch of Haraguchi. What's he got in his locker? He feels quick. Into Harvey Barnes. There's that Serdar there. Oh, he looks very similar to Sule in game. Okay, not a great start. He felt a bit heavy there on the ball. I can't believe that he's just scored that, by the way. This game is very, very tragic at times. Nice, well in. Never mind. It's going to be one of them game games in, guys. So uh, maybe I don't show you this entire game or this this first 45 minutes because I'm going to get stressed out playing this. Oh, man. This guy's a bit of a loser, isn't he? Bit of a loser, even though I'm the one losing, but he is playing like a big loser. Right, anyway. Let's go. Let's focus up. We'll get back into this game. Nice from Bellingham there. Harvey Barnes. Mar Marlon here. We go into Haraguchi. we we'll look into Barnes. Good dribbling from Barnes there. Back into Haraguchi. Oh. What's this game doing? What's the game doing? There he is, Haraguchi. Oh, what a finish. I don't think that was going in. That must be the dead eye doing that. I don't think if we didn't have the dead eye on him there, I don't think that would have gone in personally. Nice from Sule there. Absolutely bodies him. Right, Serdar on the ball. He does feel quite heavy. Um, Serdar does. Early doors. Nice, good play there. Back in Serdar. Good pass, actually, to be fair. It's a good defender from this dude, though. Yeah, he feels very heavy, to be honest. Nice, Guerrero. Easy for that there. In Serdar again. 
Nice, good play. Right, Harvey Barnes. Nice, good football. I want to try and do a finish up with this Haraguchi card. There it is. There it is. And he scored it. Wow, okay. Good start from Haraguchi. He's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, to be fair. Uh, yeah, I think it's because of the Deadeye mostly. I, I think the Deadeye is probably the, the best chemistry style for attackers if they're kind of, you know, maybe even the same for Puskas. Obviously, I put a... What did I put on Puskas again? I think it was a Hawk to boost his strength. But if cards don't have strength, the Deadeye usually is... Okay, unbelievable for for the most part. Anyway, I'll be careful here. What's he got in his locker? Nice, good stuff from Sule there. Showdown Sule as well. A great link to these cards if you've kept that card this entire time. I don't personally think he's that good. Can he find that? Yes, he can. Good ball from Serdar there. Bellingham with an unbelievable touch. In Taraguchi, in Tarby Barnes, Barnes into Caliguri. We're gonna go back into Serdar there. Into Bellingham. Serdar again. Take our time here. We no need to rush. There's Haraguchi again. Haraguchi again with a finesse shot. Oh, just wide. Unlucky. He's got a sick finesse shot on him, to be fair. As I said, he feels quick as well. He feels uh, very, very nice on the ball. And if he's got that much of a long bang in him, then, you know, we're laughing. I can already tell you, out of the two, that I think Haraguchi is more impactful um, not to say Serdar's bad, but he just does feel quite heavy. And I think on a CDM, on, on this game specifically, I think you need a good mix of being able to jockey really fast. Keep running Guerrero, please. Serdar finds out on his freestyle peg, to be fair to him. I'm going to play like this into Haraguchi. Haraguchi does well. Oh, yes. Pen. That's a penalty. It is as well. Brilliant stuff. from. He feels so nice on the ball. It's so a credit to him. Now, Soda doesn't have good penalties, but I don't think Haraguchi does either. But we're going to give it to him. And is he going to score? Yes, he is. And it's a hat-trick for Haraguchi. Very, very nice. This guy started this game really strong, but we came back into it. And now we're 3-1 up. Very, very nice. This is also my last game of champs, I believe. Uh, I'm 8-1 and one right now. So, one in, Harvey. Ah, that's a poor ball that from Marlon. You can't expect him to find him all the time, though. He's looking for that long pass there. He's found it as well. It's into the Grincher. Nice. I like that card as well. Hincape, is that how you say his name? He's really, really good. I'm going back into Serdar. Yeah, he is quite heavy. He does turn all right, though. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like Because he's heavy, um, he just feels quite slow. But his turning's okay, so I guess that kind of levels out there. He's got an okay sprint boost on him. That's a nice pass. It's in Taraguchi again. Man, his his touches are nice as well. Good aggression there from Serdar. We got unlucky not to win the ball back there. I've got to be careful here because he's hit me on the break. I'm going to bring him back there. Nice. Easy to deal with. Very, very nice. Win that Barnes. Yep, very nice there too. Serdar, that's unlucky. Yes, go on, my son. That's more like it. That's what we want to see from our our box to box and CDM there, you know. Kind of player he is. Oh, I actually do want to try a finesse with him because he has got good finesse shot stats. So, ah, oh, it's not a bad effort. Um, but personally, for me, from what I've seen of him so far, I do think he's more served as a CDM because uh, he does have that, like, just that bit of slowness about him when he's turning. Even though it's okay for his kind of body type, um, it still is just a tad slow. You know, as I said, it's it's not the worst. Um, and that's why I think, oh, wow. Okay, fair enough, whatever. Uh, you have to be careful with a card like this. But his passing's really clean. His dribbling generally is really nice. What are you doing, Pavard? Nice from Caliguri. He should be getting an upgrade at some point. Don't let him get back into this game. He hasn't deserved it. Good save, Van Sar. Very good save there. I do think I want Haraguchi to get the upgrade. Now, there's, a, there's also a case to be made that this Serdar could play uh, centre-back. And, you know, as I said... Oh, my God, I'm giving the ball back at every opportunity here. We are at half-time, though, basically. Look at that, I've given him the ball back. What am I doing? It's half-time, anyway. Right, good first half. Let's get into the second and see how we get on. I'll bring you back some highlights. Here we go, Haraguchi again. He's got six sprint boosts on him. Oh, yes, Haraguchi. 
Oh, shot cancel. Nice shot cancel there too. Haraguchi, and I've readed it, and it's still gone in. What is that? What is that for a goal? This card is unbelievable. Nice, Guerrero. Serdar again. We can drive into the space here too. It's a good pass from him. Oh, that's really, really nice. Serdar back on the ball. Oh, that's brilliant from Serdar. It's a good pass actually too. Oh. Holds off Hullet. Oh, brilliant. Serdar again. Wow, this card's actually good as well. And it's a beautiful pass. Caliguri, Harvey Barnes, 5-2, game over. All right, guys, so review's done on Haraguchi and Serdar. Starting off with Haraguchi, I'm going to keep this short and sweet here. This card is brilliant. Uh, his finesse shots are insane. He's quite glitchy. You'll see that I scored a red time finesse with him, which was really, really strange, but it was a sick goal, and De Gea just couldn't save it for some reason. He feels insanely, insanely good dribbling-wise. The Dead Eye, I think, is the must chemist style for this card. As his shooting just felt ludicrously good. Um, I think this card's brilliant. Very good short passing. Very nice dribbling. And really, really good shooting. Feels rapid. Good sprint boost. Sticky dribbling. Insane shooting. Really, really nice. He is quite weak. Just take that into consideration. But out of the two, I prefer this card. I think this card has more of an impact on games. And I think he's really good for your Bundesliga sides, to be honest. Same with Serdar, but we'll get into that shortly. Firstly, going through this card and rating his stats out of 10. Pace, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. He feels stupidly fast. Shooting, I'm going to give a 8.5 out of 10. Really liked his shot power boost that we gave him. And as I said, I think the dead eye is really important for this card. Get that attack positioning up, get that finishing up, and get that shot power juiced the way it is. Flesh shots were insane on this card, as I was expecting. I know he doesn't have the finesse shot trait. But he's got really high curve. And I think that makes him really good shooting-wise. Uh, if you want him for the for four finesses, do definitely do him. He I know he's a bit expensive. But what you're getting from this card is quite quite unique in the way that it's, it's, it's really, really fast. Kind of like Messi again. Similar to Goethe. But obviously this card is a lot faster. I think this card is better than Goethe personally. Uh, I just think he has more of an impact on games. Moving on to his passing... I'm going to rate this a 7 out of 10. Can't do the over the tops, but his short passing is literally the best it can be. Double X is brilliant on him. Three balls are okay. Not as good as I was expecting them to be, but he's well versed here as well for what kind of cards you're getting. We also did play him at striker. But I think he's more suited to that kind of striker nimble role than the cam role because his long passing is a bit too low for what I like it can. Moving on to the dribbling, this is going to be a 9 out of 10. Really fast sprint boosts. Uh, really tight. Shot cancels uh, a really tight just left stick dribbling generally. But I liked his shot cancels the most. Uh, very, very fast shot cancels. Like stupidly fast. And then physicals, we're going to just give that a 5 out of 10. He's got good stamina, but his strength and aggression is really low. Too low for my liking. But I do think this card is really good. I'm going to rate him an 8 out of 10. I think he's worth doing. I know, as I said, he's expensive. But he's a really good card. If he gets a plus 2, this card's going to be absolutely ridiculously good. Now, moving on to Serdar. This card's also really good as well. Uh, you'll see in the gameplay that I was slating him quite a lot for being a bit heavy. But he still turns okay. Uh, his jockeying, it was the issue I was having. His jockeying was quite slow. It's probably due to the fact his pace is a little bit low from what I'm used to at CDM nowadays. But his passing's really good. His shooting's okay. It's not the best. Um, but I like his passing. We're actually doing passes like, over the top balls on his... Three star weak foot, and they were connecting every time. So, I've got to give him credit for his passing. His passing was really, really good. Talking of the dribbling again, a little bit heavy on the jockeying, but other than that, he's got an okay sprint boost. And uh, I just do like how tight he keeps the ball to his feet. For the kind of card he is, it's kind of strange having that. Um, but you have to make sure you understand that his jockeying is slow. Even with the engine applied, his jockeying is very, very slow and quite lethargic. Defending, I really like. Nice tackling. Sticks to him. Obviously, he's got that high stand tackle already. And high interceptions, meaning his tackles are really solid and strong. Liked him here a lot. And physicals, that aggression's insane. And you can feel that in game. Um, he really is good on the aggression. Got good strength as well. This card is quite unique and strange. Because it has really high dribbling. Then low agility and balance. And then really good strength and aggression. And really, really good tackling stats. But I also like this card as well. I think he's more suited to the CDM role. 
than he is the uh, centre mid role or the box to box role. Even though his shooting is good, you can still use that from CDM. You know, if you ever get the opportunity to use it, you can. But he's definitely more suited to that CD CDM role. Got quite a stocky body type in game. Looked quite large, um, and you should use him there. And just beware that he doesn't jockey like Kante. He doesn't jockey like anybody really. You know that you would use at CDM, kind of like a Goretzka card. Um, jo jockeying with Goretzka is relatively heavy as well, but he's a little bit quicker and he has longer legs. Obviously, this Serdar card is only six foot, so take that into consideration whilst you do complete him, if you do want to complete him. I do think he is worth doing, um, but you just have to take everything into, into consideration. I think Team of the Year nominee, Gretzka, is probably as good. This card is a bit better going forward, and he's a, he's got better aggression, and I really like high aggression on this game. Um, so, I think this card is a complete. I don't know if we talked about his physicals too much, but the stamina jump in. He's good in the air. He's really good in the air. I'll give him that as well. Um, I like this card a lot, guys. I think overall you should do him. His pace, I'm going to rate a 6 out of 10. Does feel quite slow, unfortunately. Shooting, we didn't use it too much, but it was okay. I'm going to rate this a 6 out of 10 as well. He's not there to really shoot, even though he does have good shooting stats and the finesse shot trait. He's not there to shoot for you. Passing, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Kind of surprised me a little bit here. Um, his stats are a bit low in the passing department, especially the long passing department. But his long passes were insanely good. Really, really like them there. Dribbling, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. Whilst he does jockey slowly, when he's got the ball to his feet, his sprint boost is good. And he keeps the ball really tight to his feet, which is nice and quite unique for the card that we've got here. Defending is going to be a 9 out of 10. Loved him here. It's to do with his body type and obviously his interceptions and stand tackle. You can trust him when he makes a tackle for it to stick to his feet. And physicals is also going to be a 9 out of 10. His physicals are brilliant. I love high aggression. I love his strength with his body type. He's got great stamina and he's insanely good in the air, guys. I'm going to rate this card an 8 out of 10. Whilst it does have its issues, it's a very, very powerful, strong CDM. Make sure you don't play him as a box-to-box -box centre mid. He hasn't got that in his locker. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. But guys, this is going to be it from me for now, so take care.